Welcome back to Agates Explained by Josh. The Agate Bay video production crew is back in the house and today we are going to talk about um, chromatography in Agates, um, which means nothing else than color change. I will just show you some pieces so you first of all know what I'm talking about. So as an example here we have a condor agate from Argentina. These are from San Rafael um, in Mendoza province and here you can just perfectly see that there is a color change um, within the stone but completely independently of the circular bands going, going around like it is the case in 99% of all agates. Um, so this is something we don't commonly see in most agate locations but there are some agate locations where it happens very very regular and the condor agates are probably the location where you will see it the most commonly. And this piece is just super strong because it has uh, this section over here where you can see hardly any banding and on the other side this strong red color where um, you can see the bands much more clearly. And chromatography can, can be caused by... Uh, wow... <laughs> can be caused by different, by different reasons. Some of the reason might be that it is caused by some kind of temperature change uh, during the, the process of formation or even secondary after the banding has already formed that there were some some parts of the stone or in the horse rock that were exposed to greater heat than in other areas so agates are probably said to be formed uh, up to um, up to temperatures of 200 degrees Celsius depending on how strong they react to heat temperature it might have caused um, color changes in some areas of the stone but a much more common reason for chromatography to appear is, for example, close to flow channels. And that's an entire different uh, section that we're going to explain in a different video. Um, but in a lot of the areas where you can see um, it has these kind of flow channels going towards the outside of the stone, that's probably also where some kind of a secondary um, movement came into the cavity of the stone like in this area you can see probably most of the layers have formed but left the empty space with the with the crystals that later formed inside of inside of the stone and in the areas where they have these kind of infiltration or exfiltration or whatever you want to call them you will much more commonly see commonly see uh, these kind of color changes but this egg don't doesn't only have the color change in the in the section of the flow channel but also all around the the entire stone and even like in the center of the stone and that's that's where it begins to get complicated with uh, with uh, theories this is one of the largest sized high quality chi chinese agates i've ever owned i'm glad i i i'm hanging on to the, to this piece and the other half of this one's also currently in the museum exhibit uh, at the terra mineralia museum Chromatography doesn't appear quite as commonly uh, is in Morocco, but here you can also see the color change uh, is happening uh, towards the flow channel and it kind of like a half circle structure formed around, around this flow channel. The most common reason for example um, for the chromatography is um, when there were fractures and through the fractures there were, was a secondary mineralization process that brought in like an entire different color in the stone. And here you can see it would, it would have been a pretty boring agate, just white and gray, but this section where the secondary color came in through the, through the fracture um, just created so much in the stone that it actually became a really interesting piece. And this is from Germany, from the Waldhambach location. Another location where it really rarely happens I would say is in Kentucky agates. I have not seen a lot of pieces where chromatography appeared in Kentucky agates, but most cases where you will see color changes is from yellow to red. Um, I have another example from Morocco that I'm just going to show you now, and that is also because the red and the yellow color is caused by iron um, molecules or crystallization um, points within the agate structure. And <clears throat> depending on how it is exposed to heat and maybe oxygen and other factors, um, it, will, it will either appear in yellow or red. So a lot of times uh, yellow and red banding is really close together and that's also where you will most commonly see uh, the chromatography. And here I have just another 
perfectly beautiful example uh, where you can see the color change in the center uh, from this yellow um, to the red on the other side or burgundy I would call it in this case but just perfectly splitting the agate in half no signs of a fracture just it, it just happened and this agate is from the Buhamsa location and I personally cut this one I think one or two years ago and just love it for this feature so I hope you learned something in today's video um, with agates explained by Josh and I hope you will be back for um, for more Thanks for watching.